I'm Frank Seppi with NPC News Online, and I'm here with two IFBB physique pros, right? And they train at the same gym, the East Coast Mecca. I got right. Matt Masati and Matt Acton. Only place to be. <laughs> now you're making your pro debut, right? Yes, I am. New York Pro? New York Pro. What are we going to expect? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to bring my best package to date. I want to come in a lot bigger and fuller than I did at the Universe. Um, I'm really just excited to get on stage with uh, Matt over here, who I've been looking up to, uh, you know, and all the other guys, too, that keep me motivated from Bev's, like uh, Sadiq, you know, who's one of my good friends and, you know, my mentor. And, uh, you know, and that's it, man. I'm just excited to get up there with these guys. So now you're in a gym, you're training, you train at the same time. Yeah. Looking over, you see Matt. Let's give you a little motivation. Uh, it fires me up, Frank. I, uh, he pushes me to that extra uh, 50 no, pounds. No animosity, though. There's no an animosity between me and Matt. It's always a good push. Unless he beats you. Then. then, then maybe. You know. What are the chances of that happening? You know, I, hey, listen. I, it, we're, the way I put it, we're all in the same league. We're all great athletes. And we all have to hit 100% of our potential at that time. So if you have a guy that's normally winning shows and he shows up at 90% and then that guy is just hungry and he shows up 100%, I mean, who knows what's going to happen the day of the show. So you can't, you can never, you can never be like that. That's the way I, you know. You feel the same way about that? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you never know. Um, you know, you can have, you can just have an off day, right? You know, an off day, an off week. You an know, going week. into the Arnold, you know, yeah. there was a, a whole bunch of stressors, stressors that I had to go through between business, um, you know, problems at home, all, all sorts of things could go into the equation of you know a successful prep, and it messes up your mindset. And you know, mindset yeah. is, you know, that's the number one key to prep is the mindset. Stay mentally tough. Now, if I dieted for 16 weeks, whatever it is, I did my best. I came in top shape and someone in the same gym beat me. I, you're a better person than I am. <laughs> but you're both competing in New York. It's gotta be extra special, right, to compete in your hometown? Absolutely. Yeah, and for me, I mean, you got to realize, I, I was coming from the beginning of Men's Physique, where we didn't have an Olympia originally. Right. So the biggest show we had to look forward to, which is one of the greatest shows, Night of the Champions, the New York Pro now, was obviously the New York Pro, and that was our Olympia to begin with. So that's why, you know, it's hometown, Bev and Steve put the show on, and, you know, it's going to be on my birthday this year, Frank. So, you know, it's, it's, it's really special to me, because this is a show that I've been trying to win since the beginning, and like I said, this was our Olympia. Now... You've been in a ton of shows, you always do well. What advice would you give to Matt if he's making his pro debut? Because you know the first time you're in a contest, your head's spinning, what advice would you give to him? Well, or do you want to give him advice? Actually, to tell you the truth, he did message me the other day and asked me some advice and I gave it to I him. Did. I said, yeah. make sure you're full and hit the normal Maserati conditioning, we call it, because <laughs> Matt Maserati, and that's the, the way I put it, the Maserati conditioning, you know, make sure you're nice, crispy, uh, and make sure you're not flat and you hit that load and you're just pop. That's always been uh, very helpful with me, you know, in the past. He's always been willing to give me tips on posing and uh, dieting and things like that in the past. You know, that's what it's about, man. It's yeah. all about uh, Let the best man brotherhood. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Now, why do you think you're going to win the show? <sighs> what do you have that the other competitors don't? Uh... I'm thinking my size, man. I don't. Yeah, I get red. You put me on the spot here. A little bit. I'm tan. I put tan on. Maybe, maybe, maybe size. I don't know. What do you think, Matt? I mean, no, no, no. It's up to you. I would think because of my size. You know, going into a show, you have to have that mindset that you know I'm the best. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm going in with the intentions of doing my best. Uh, obviously, you don't train and prep for 12 weeks to, with the intentions of failing. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, uh, no, I'm just looking to come in at my best. You know, I want to come in sharper than I did at the Universe. I want to come in a little bit fuller. I want to come in, hopefully, maybe seven pounds bigger. You know, that's what I'm shooting for. So, uh, you know, I'm hoping to be up there with these guys. And uh, that's oh, yeah. it. What about the boss here? What do you think? And for me, for the New York Pro, I mean, I'm starting to feel like it's 2013, which was, you know, my first year to, you know, come up. The first year that I placed third in the Olympia when I came out of nowhere, and I won the first show, the Toronto Pro, and I placed third in the New York Pro. I felt like then I was fighting for something. Last year, you know, I'm not going to lie, I felt like, personally, I was in a little bit more of cruise control, living off of something that I made already, and, you know, at this point, 
placing second a couple of times, getting humbled once again, you know, I finally feel like I'm fighting for something again, which is why I chose, you know, to do all these shows in a row just to make sure, because I get better as I compete a little bit more, like Juan Diesel, I take it right out of his book, <laughs> but, um, you know, I want all these shows and I want to compete, you know, the, the next couple of times because I feel like on my birthday, the last show of the three show run that I'm about to do, I will be my best. I feel like my shoulders have came up, that was one of the weak points that I've always had, you know, so I, I, I went to work straight on all my weak points this season and finally like I get to see them in condition as opposed to the Arnold which I feel like I was a little under conditioned you know yeah, one of the most important things in obviously a men's physique contest is posing because you can have the best physique in the world but if you don't know how to display it on stage then you might not win so who have you been working with or if anybody with your posing I've been doing a lot of my own stuff with posing uh, immediately I've been doing it after training uh, but I'll probably wind up switching that to before I do my weight training just because uh, you know I was just talking with Sadiq earlier and he made a good point uh, you know you generally hold a lot of water uh, after training at a specific muscle group so you might not like what you look like in the mirror afterwards when you're posing so I usually do it on my own you know and I take tips and pointers from I hold a lot of ninja ninja you have the ninja pose, right? Yeah, well, I mean, that I could only use on the swag walk because obviously it's not a, an actual mandatory pose, but uh, I mean, what was the question again, Frank? What was it swag walk? What's yeah. the swag? Yeah, I call the opening walk, I call it the swag walk, where, you know, you're allowed to throw a couple of new moves in, you know, just to show your physique in a different way, and then the mandatories are, when we're on the line, just being compared to each other so that's what I say like even when I'm giving my seminars you have everybody in their best kissy face mirror pose no guys it's not the best pose it's we all want to be on the line and we want to be comparable so that's the way I like to put yeah. it. Now you work on your posing yourself or you have somebody? The truth, I do all the posing on my own I mean I'm coming from being a model being behind a camera right. so I, I'm very you know it's called conscious proprioception and I'm very aware of where I am and believe it or not I don't really practice posing which is gonna blow everybody's mind I'm one of the people who I'll practice the week of the show and that's it wow. Now you have, well, you, you know, you know your body, you know, you learn your body as you go and yeah. you'll see, you'll get better and better as you pose, as you go along. But now talk about that. You've been doing seminars mm -hmm. around the country, right? Basically teaching. Well, I mean, just giving back, um, you know, I have my own theories on, you know, food principles, nutrition principles, and, you know, I like to go into the sport. I like to give motivation on, like, how I started and my MPC story, how I did sh six shows in seven weeks consecutively. And, you know, I just try to fill these athletes up with the energy, you know, to then hit the stage and, you know, give, just give them an idea of what's around the corner, you know? Well, I wish you both luck, you know, um, and let the best man win, right? Yeah. It's always... What I say. So we'll see both Matt, both Matt, Matt squared at the uh, New York Pro, and um, this is also going to be show number thirty for me. Thirty wow. shows in, in what two years, three years since it, <laughs> since it started, when 2011. Wow, it was your first? My first, <laughs> my first of many. All right, guys, good luck, good luck Thank in the you. show. It's Frank Seppi with NPCNewsOnline.com.